Hello again, all of you pretty people. It's time to talk about another main man that you may be unaware of, although I'm sure if you're watching this video or you're playing War of the Lines or War of the Visions, you are already aware of our man Rob's Beowulf. Beowulf? Beowulf? Pseudo-French? Franco, maybe? Uh, he is the hero protagonist of Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions. He is the youngest, second youngest of four siblings, uh, both of his older brothers being very accomplished knight cap captains and generals on their own. So we are going to go over uh, sort of his expectations for the meta uh, and kind of give you some information to make you more informed on whether or not you want to pull. So uh, for the most part, Ramza is a pseudo-utility tank. He's kind of a support tank. Um, he doesn't have a crap ton of built-in damage mitigation, but he does have some resistances that are very strong. He also has some abilities that let him get around the battlefield and do things that other characters cannot do, like double breaks or uh, give other characters J or AP um, or... Oh god, there's so much in this guy's kit. Um, plus, he's very good for the upcoming... Uh, and his equipment is uh, very good for the upcoming evasion meta, which will eventually show up, and... Oh, excuse me. We'll go over that sort of when it becomes a thing. Uh, so let's take a look at him. So he is a light character, which means he shares uh, resources with Engelbert and Warrior of the Light eventually when he comes out. His main three jobs are Squire, Spellblade, and Ninja. Uh, Squire and Spellblade are unique to the Final Fantasy Tactics one so far. Uh, we just got Delita announced, a Delita announced for Final Fantasy Tactics, the second part of the banner. So I believe he is also a Squire, but he might be a Knight Errant. Um, I haven't really, they haven't released a whole crap ton about that banner, so I don't have the specifics. But it'll be fun to figure out. Uh, Spellblade is also pretty unique, although uh, I think there's at least one other unit that has something similar, although not quite the same kit. Uh, the Ninja is standard. It's got Shuriken and Shikuchi. It's pretty much everything you've ex you're expecting to see in the Ninja kit. There are no surprises in it for you. Uh, he is a time limited summon. As we went over in the Orlando video, Orlando video, I will go over again here just to give you an idea. Um, this is a limited banner. If you are a free-to-play player and you have a bunch saved up, maybe it's worth it. We do know now that there are going to be a series of free temples, uh, so your chances of pulling them are significantly higher. Uh, well, not significantly, because your chances of pulling them are always, you know, 1.8% or whatever the flat rate per character is. So he's not a character you're going to reroll an account for. So if you're free to play and you're looking at the tactics banner like, eh, I won't I want those dudes. You definitely want Orlando more than Ramza. Although Ramza does have a very significant place in later on metas. He is, his utility is not to be underestimated. Um, he will be coming out, uh, I guess, at the time of this upload tomorrow. Uh, so keep an eye on it. I do not, I did not see if they were doing the step up banner for him, but they are doing a new guarantee banner. Uh, so he may have rate ups on it. I do not know for sure. Mostly because I haven't sat down and looked at it. But keep an eye on the banners. In JP, we got a three-step banner where it was two... Uh, it's three paid pulls. The first two give you a guaranteed UR, and the third gives you a Ramza. Um, we haven't seen those in Global yet, so I'm wary to see if they are going to show up or not. I would like to see them. Step-up banners for theme units are uh, generally pretty popular, um, especially because they're pretty good. So, let's take a look at his stuff. Trustfaster Reward, Ramza's Clothes. This is when you max limit break, max awaken him. He has crit evade 12, he has 422 HP bonus, and he has 8 defense. It also has TP gift on it, which regains TP uh, 20, or cost 20, uh, at the range of 2. Uh, decent cross, so not too bad to actually use. The crit evade! Oh man, I am sleepy this morning. The crit evade on that is um, actually where you want his stuff. Uh, it's very good, and being crit uh, in anything sucks. Uh, his limit burst is Ultima. Uh, we are looking at the Gamia wiki for War of the Visions, so it's going to have some of the Japanese names because a lot of them haven't gotten updated.
Let us see. So deals non-elemental damage large to targets within an area based on caster's mag and guaranteed hit. Uh, uses 49 AP, which is a lot. Hit to regular square. Uh, the, uh, the animation for this is crazy looking. It is so cool. But uh, Ultima's good. It's not... He's another one of those sort of hybrid units that you're not going to totally be able to abuse the way you want currently, but there are gear and equipment that come out that make it a little easier. Uh, his master ability is 10% HP and slashing attack 10. So he gets more life and he's a little more damaging. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, maxed out with no equipment, you're looking at 2,000 HP, pretty standard. Uh, 264 attack, which is a little high, a lot of TP, a lot of AP. Uh, his mag is also 239, which is surprisingly good. Um, that's a lot, uh, especially given that he is a regular, like, just dude. Uh, speed 52, dex 155, all pretty appreciative. Move and jump being 3 and 2 is very good, and his luck is a little higher than most. So this means that overall he is a very well-statted hero. Um, he's not unusable by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he's pretty good. Uh, things on here that aren't mentioned. Uh, he gets six extra spirit, so he's got a little bit of magic to bet. And let's go to job. Uh, Squire, main command. Dawnblade, chant, dual break, shout, and triple attack. Dual break is going to be one of your big ones. It deals heavy damage and reduces attack and mag for it for three turns. So this is the ability that you want to run up on, like, their gunner or their glass cannon DPS and just stop them from doing their job for a couple of turns. Um, the reduction isn't crazy high, but it's enough to turn a 1 or 2 hit into a 3 or 4, which is always good. Triple attack deals moderate damage three times. It's fine. Uh, it's not amazing, particularly. Like, if you have a... If you've shotgunned a bunch of attack on this dude, like, yeah, you're you're gonna murder somebody. It's just gonna happen. Um, but it does have a chance to miss as well, so in evasion it's a little less useful, but still pretty good. Uh, wish or Chant... Steals your HP and gives it to a friendly unit. Um, it's fine. Shout gives uh, attack, mag, and brave for self and allies. I do not know if this applies to uh, cheer the way Fina's does. Um, I don't know if it's permanent. I will have to look that up at some different point. I would imagine it is. Like, I don't know if they would give... Like, that was his whole shtick in Final Fantasy Tactics. So I don't know if they would take that away from him for a gimmick in War of the Visions. But we can check it out. Uh, Subjobs. Stone. He throws a rock. Uh, cheer. Okay, so he does... That's what I was thinking. I thought he did get that permanently. So he does have cheer like Fina. So uh, disregard literally the last 40 seconds. We're doing the old... Uh, we're doing the old purge patch notes kind of thing. Talk for an hour, disregard 45 minutes of it. Uh, he does have JP boost, which uh, increases the JP here in some battle. Counter tackle, which is similar to Mont's ability. Um, so you get attacked, you have a chance to counter attack, and it slams into them, and they move one space away. So it sets them up for, you know, people are bottlenecking. It lets you sort of get into an area. Uh, yell uh, increases speed for an ally. Uh, it can be used up to twice, so you get, uh, I guess it stacks twice, which is pretty good. Uh, speed is definitely, uh, speed or agi is definitely an ability or a stat that um, people don't respect as much as they should. It, it, it matters on who goes first, so sometimes it is better more often than not. Uh, move plus one is a green is good. I mean, he's a ninja, so he gets Shikuchi, so... It really depends on what style of support you're looking to put this guy in as far as his support and sub-commands go. Um, I would recommend Spellblade, because, oh boy, this is, uh, this is some stuff. So he has uh, Providence of the Dark, which raises his magic attack res and his dark res. So being a light character, he has an innate dark resistance ability, which is pretty good like his weakness becomes less of a weakness not 
invulnerable by any stretch of the imagination, but anything is better than nothing. Uh, Bioblade, you can deal medium damage to a target based on his mag stat, and you have a chance of collecting poison. Um, you have Vanish and Vanish, you get Blade. Vanishka. Vanishaga? Man, I don't know why they just add good at the end of these things. It's silly. Um, so those deal extra damage to dark type units, um, and it deals small light magic and... Vanish guy, I believe, is an AoE. I think it's a cross. Um, so, Roms is a dark killer. So, you take that information as you will. Like, it's very strong if, like, they've got a Ryu or a, a Stern that you're really trying to get rid of, or really just any dark content in-game. Like, he is going to do a massive amount of damage to. Uh, resist magic raises magic attack res uh, with, on allies with that area. Uh. I'm pretty sure it's a cross, so I think that's fine. Um, magic Guard is a chance of damage reduction when taking magic attack damage. He's essentially a magic tank, uh, for the most part. Like, he does have some provoke stuff, which is one of his best abilities down here. Um, deal damage small to targets within range based on caster's mag stat. Increases chance of being target for three turns. So it's essentially provoke. Uh, so it builds his hate stat, which is threat, provoke, however you want to say it in uh, War of the Visions. This is pretty good. Um, in PvP, it won't really matter as much, because I don't imagine it'll end up ever, the match is ever really lasting long enough to cast this unless he does it right off the bat, and that does not seem to be priority if I've watched. Um, I was watching Cabbage play some PvP stuff with uh, Ramza, and he's kind of on the same page. Like, it's a really good spell, but in PvP, you're almost never going to see it because the AI puts certain other things up before it, which sucks, but... You know, I mean, you're not always playing PvP, so it's not like it matters a crazy ton. Um, ninja sub jobs and commands are exactly what you would expect. Shuriken, Yutsutsemi, Shikuchi, um, Doton, Anton, Poison Barb, Cider of Fate. They're fine. Like, it's the regular ninja sub jobs. So, like, Shikuchi is always good because move plus jump is strong in anything. Like, being able to get around or over something before another character can is always the high ground, so to speak. Uh, now, here's where he gets kind of fun. So, he gets 15% slashing resistance, 15% striking resistance, and 15%. So, I keep forgetting that is not piercing. The spear is piercing. The projectile is missile. I, uh, it weirds me out that they've split that. I said it in the Orlando video, and I was like, that doesn't sound right. Uh, and then his regular magic attack, he also has minus 10%. Which, none of these are bad. Like, 15% resistance to everything but piercing is pretty good. And magic attack being weak too isn't the worst thing, just because there aren't that many magic attackers. Um, it's crazy. Um, elemental resistances, he doesn't get anything. By default, he's minus 10 to dark. It's fine. Not a huge different deal in one direction or the other. Uh, resistances to status ailments. He's got 50% to... I believe that is slow and silence, uh, so the odds of him falling under one of those is very slim. Confusion, he has a 10% resistance to, which is low. I don't I don't know how often that's going to proc, so like that's your guess. Um, these are sort of mediocre resistances, but can obviously be buffed through other means. Like, there are gear that gives you resistances to specific things, so you can kind of kit him out the way you need him. Awakening is everything you expect it. The numbers of all are always the same. They don't change. Uh, you need those... Oh, you need those little rainbow orbs, though. Oh, boy. My, my balls. And you're definitely gonna need more uh, rainbow fragments. Luckily, it seems like the Final Fantasy Tactics banner crossover seems to have a lot of ways of gaining them. Um, Limit Break's the same thing. You're gonna need uh, 600 shards, so keep at it. Um, it's easier to... Him and Gafgarian, who is the free unit, um, they are very usable. And they are very easy to get shards for. Um, you can, you should be able to max out Gaff by the time the event's over, if not a little bit before. And Ramza should be, I believe, the daily shards and the mission shards for him put him at either two or three. So if you do pull Ramza, it's not not worth running down his shards. Um, he is, like I said, he is a very usable unit. Uh, we got the JP little info card for him, a little bit of art on there. He's got his weird little squire outfit. Boy, he looks silly. 
You got some ability. You got that chocobo up top. Look at that ultimate. Oh, oh, it'll look, oh, oh it'll look good. All right, so that is your summon video for Ramza. Should you summon him? Um, there are a lot of qualifiers here. Uh, if you have Engelbert or you plan on pulling um, Warrior of Light at some point in the future, maybe not. Um, the guaranteed pull might be a thing you want to dip in on just because guaranteed URs are always pretty good. Um, Ramza is not a bad unit. He is an A unit in the tier. But in certain situations, he does actually have value over a lot of S tiers. So, are you going to chase Ramza? I wouldn't tell you to. He's good, but I don't think he is quite that good. Um, once we start getting elemental-themed content, he is very, very good on a light team. But if you, like I said, if you have Engel or really anybody else in the lineup that are already sort of there, he's a loss, like you will miss his DPS and his utility, but he's not the must-have unit of this banner. Like, unfortunately, he is outshadowed by, uh, overshadowed by Sidolphus. TG Sid, um, just so significantly. Like, the DPS differences between the two characters are just massive. Um, but, I mean, that's sort of how it goes when you make a chase you are that's that much stronger than the rest of the cast. So, if you really like Ramza, uh, I, I did a shout-out Yesterday, our buddy Jake from That One Guy Jake, he, uh, or That One Jake Guy? It's one or the other. I think I've gotten it wrong, like, every time I've said it, but I think I've said it both times, both different ways, possibly. So, um, he, uh, we were in chat because he's in our guild, uh, Zen Misery, which we have some slots open, so if you guys are actually looking for an active guild, um, we, uh, we aren't whale slaying or anything, but we're doing okay. I am easily the worst person on the team, and I'm still almost to a thousand, so, you know. Um... He was like, I'm getting both of them. And it's not that he was saying he was pulling for both of them. He said, period. I am getting both of them. Period. <laughs> so I think he's going to stream his summons, which will be really fun to watch. We'll get the link up. Uh, and if you follow us, you can. he's on Twitter. Uh, he's very easy to find. Um, you can get him on Twitch as well. So that's pretty much it. Romsbeel, the, uh, the man who went down in history with his name unknown. Uh... He's pretty good. I don't know if you're going to want to run him down for uh, nostalgia or for familiarity or if you just want another light unit, but that's the trick. That is his whole thing. So uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe, tell us if you're excited to see him. Um, I'm excited to see him. Final Fantasy Tactics is one of my favorite games. But uh, remember, keep your pulls, be happy, and don't be miserable.